Hey guys, this will be the final continuation of Arc 5 Interlude 2. For those of you that don't know what this is referring to, at the end of Chapter 5 there are 3 interludes, of which I've covered 2 of them. This will cover the final interlude. The chapter starts with Garfield pondering about his time at the Sanctuary. About despite knowing that there was an obstacle in his way, he shied away from challenging it. Garfield wonders if he has changed since he left the Sanctuary. Garfield hears someone call out to him, calling him Gorgeous Tiger. This is Garfield's younger half-brother, Fred Thompson. Garfield inquires whether or not everything has settled down since the witch cult attack. After all, Garrick Thompson, the father of Garfield's half-siblings, was transformed into a black dragon by Capilla, the Sin Archbishop of Lust. Luckily, Garrick Thompson had vocal cords and therefore was able to communicate but the others who were transformed into flies couldn't communicate at all. Fred wonders when his father will be back and Garfield just pats his head to comfort him. Garfield thought about giving words of encouragement but felt like it would do more harm than good. Fred gets called by someone near the entrance of the mansion. This person was Raphael Thompson, Fred's sister and Garfield's half-sister. Upon seeing Garfield, her face brightened up and then it rapidly changed to being anxious. One might actually call that fast change of facial expressions cute. Garfield and Mimi proceed into the mansion, and like the first time Garfield visited, Garfield's mother apologised for the lack of hospitality, but Garfield counters it by stating that it's his fault for showing up unannounced. As Mimi bounces on the sofa, they notice that the house feels a bit deserted since the last time they visited. Fred says something, but is angrily chased off by Raphael. The reason for this is because Rishia, Garfield's mother, has decided to help the people of Priestella by donating their assets to help the people, hence why the house felt emptier than usual. Garfield's mother talks about the fact that the family lacks a husband with Garrick out of action, and the fact that 10 years ago she couldn't remember anything before meeting Garrick. Garrick essentially gave Rishia, now known as Riala, everything, such as their daughter and their son. Garfield's mother didn't mind that Garrick had become a dragon, however it was decided that being frozen would be the best option for the family to take. With enough talking about her family and the fact that she was strong due to having a caring family, she flipped it on Garfield, known as the Gorgeous Tiger, about why he was so caring for their family. Upon hearing this, Garfield was swept off his feet metaphorically and his fangs trembled and his resolve started withering away. During this, Mimi was just waiting, silently. Garfield realised that when Mimi brought him here, he needed a plan, and so Garfield thought, what should I do? Should Garfield fill in her memories for the memories that she had lost, reminding her of her time in the sanctuary? Or should he just tell his half-siblings that he was related to them? Or maybe even just say that he was checking up on Garrick so he could leave early? These were all possibilities in Garfield's mind. Garfield came to a decision. He ultimately tried to deflect it by stating that they've been together for a while and he can't keep an eye on them from now on. So that's the reason why he came to visit, just to let them know that he would be leaving soon. This de-escalated the situation and Garfield thought that instead of exploding with emotions, what he should do instead was to regroup with Frederica and ask her what her plan of action would be. In the middle of Garfield's thoughts, his mother approached him and stroked his hair, noting that Garfield felt like a feeble child, and she noticed something was wrong. Upon having his hair stroked, Garfield remembered the time he was younger, a time where his mother, now known as Rishia Tenzel, used to stroke his hair. In response to these memories, Garfield uttered the word, Mum. Garfield started breaking down in tears, shouting Mum over and over again. It's only natural because no matter how strong you are, it's only natural to act like this when in the presence of your mother. Garfield's mother steps back and says Garfield's name, which was affirmed by Mimi, and opens her arms. Garfield, still crying, hugs his mother and they embrace. Garfield was overwhelmed with emotions of love. He had his sister's love and his grandmother's love, which is of course referring to Ryuzu. But now he finally had his mother's love. This is what Garfield thought as 15 years of emotions spilled out. 
After a while, Mimi came back in the room with Garfield's half-siblings. It seems that during Garfield's crying episode, she left the room to go play with the half-siblings to give Garfield some space. However, she did enter the room and call Garfield a crybaby. Fred asks if Gorgeous Tiger is alright, and his sister states that Garfield and Fred are similar considering they both cry a lot. It turns out that Garfield's crying was so loud that it could be heard throughout the whole mansion, even with Mimi taking the siblings away. Mimi wants a snack for her efforts and again asks Garfield if he has fallen in love with her, only to be shot down again. Garfield thinks about Mimi, the fact that she is constantly helping him and saving his life, despite the fact that Garfield has done nothing to pay her back, debt after debt is rising up. Garfield was becoming anxious because his siblings were looking at him and he didn't know if he had the qualifications to be an older brother. Upon thinking about moving forward, he once again calls to his mother, obviously to the confusion of Fred and his sister. Fred's sister states that her and Fred's mother is not the same as Garfield's mother. Garfield's mother clarifies the situation, stating that Garfield is simply confused and has confused her with his own mother since they look similar. This of course shocks Garfield and the siblings. Garfield does however internalise this. He realises that she doesn't have any memories of 10 years ago, so therefore it's very unlikely that she would believe Garfield's words. After all, he is just a 15 year old kid. Garfield didn't know if he was filled with relief or disappointment. Maybe it was a 50-50 mix of both. With that, Mimi and Garfield left the mansion and the siblings and the mother were seeing them off. Garfield's mother tells them to come back anytime and it seems that the siblings had the impression that Garfield was trying to steal their mother away. Garfield and Mimi walk away, with Garfield turning his back towards his family that he cannot call his family. As he walks away, his mother pushes the siblings forwards and tells them to say goodbye properly. Fred's sister is actually being stubborn and she gets reprimanded by her mother and this is the first time we hear her name. Now I'm most likely going to butcher it but it's Raphael or Raphael. I'll put a spelling of it on screen so you can see what it is. Garfield listens to this name and realises that it's similar to his name. Likewise, Fred Thompson is very similar to Frederica. Fred's sister notices Garfield's strange reaction to her name and states that Garfield must find her name weird too. However, Garfield states that is a very nice name. Garfield realized that the similar naming sense was proof of his mother's love and despite being devastated, all he could do was laugh about it. All of his weaknesses were now gone and Garfield had his resolve. He once again stated he would be back, but this time he would go to Roswell's manor and bring Frederica and Ryuzu to fill in the missing decade that Garfield's mother could no longer remember. And this time when he speaks about it, it won't be a sad story, but instead a positive story. After Garfield leaves, the siblings notice that their mother looks lonely and she starts crying whilst thinking of Garfield. The scene swaps to Garfield regrouping with Otto and Mimi is constantly asking Garfield if he loves her and per usual Garfield keeps turning her down over and over again as Otto watches the exchange. However at the end of the exchange he says thank you to Mimi and he realises that he's made a small amount of progress. And that is the end of the final interlude of arc 5. So it is obvious that Garfield's mother has some sort of memories or emotional uh, realization that Garfield is in fact her child hence why she was crying so I think that's a really good end point and we'll see what happens next time anyways thank you for watching